Where is Satan? Now Satan was cast out of heaven. Him and a third of the angels. Could be a million, could be more. I don't know how many angels he had with him. But where is Satan? See, this is an amazing thing today that people don't ever say Satan is right there. That's the devil. They can't follow the devil because they don't have the Holy Ghost. Now there's a falling away from, from spiritual things. A falling away. But the man of sin is being revealed and, and Bible worshipers cannot even see it. See, he sits in the temple of God right now. He sits in the temple of God. While you're looking for God in a book, Satan is in his temple. Now, think about this. Satan entered Judas. See, it wasn't Judas that betrayed Christ. It was Satan. Now take a look at this picture. If you can't see Satan in that, then you're blind. You're completely blind. And what you'll do, you'll say this man has the Word of God because he has a Bible, see. And this man here represents a whorehouse, a whore. They rape millions of little children. That's what they do. It's a whorehouse. He's a satanic person. The Pope is over there now helping pedophiles. Now that's Satan right there in his temple. Now, <clears throat> if you can't see Satan in these things, then you're blind. There's no need for you to even claim the name of Jesus Christ. Now think about that. If you can't see Satan in that, you don't even know who's destroying this world. He's destroying this world. He's destroying this country. And he's being used of the devil. You see, you'll never say, I'm the temple of God. You'll say, God dwells in him. See, that is a demon. A demon. Now think about that. That's as simple as falling off a log backwards. Where is Satan? I show you where Satan is. I'm the only preacher to show you where Satan is. What do you think about that? <clears throat> you know what he tells people? You just believe in the Bible and you're saved. He won't even say, no man comes to Jesus except the Spirit draws him. And no man can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Ghost. He says, you just come. There's millions of Baptists trust in him. But they say he's a man of God because he reads the Bible. See, that is a temple of Satan. Now, if you don't understand these simple things, how are you going to ever be a Christian? Nobody even tell you these things. They don't even know where Satan's at. Now, think about this man. He killed Ishmael, come from Abraham. He killed hundreds of thousands of Ishmael's children, and they haven't done anything more than all them other Saudi Arabian countries does. But he killed them. He used them for target practice. But you won't say, this is the temple of Satan. This is the temple of Satan. See, Satan got in Judas. Satan gets in people. Anybody he wants in, everybody belongs to him, but us Holy Ghost people. If you don't know that this is the temple of Satan, then you're in trouble. He's hid out now called them Ishmael's children hunting him. So that is the temple of Satan. You think Satan is going to let God dwell in us, someone that can see and hear and walk and talk and, and get God's work done? What happened on the day of Pentecost? That was 120 people had God in them. They had God in them. Now this man says God's in a book. He says God is in a book. And he'll deceive all of you because he says God's in a book. But you know where God is? It's in him. It's in him. So you see, how dumb can people get? This world should be more spiritual, but they're less spiritual. This is a man of sin, sitting in the temple of God. This is Satan sitting in his temple. These are his temples. These are the temples of God. Right here is the temple of God. This is the temple of Satan because he says God dwells in a book. God dwells in a book. Now learn these things. See, if I asked you, I said, where is Satan? Satan was kicked out of heaven. Where is Satan? You don't know. You don't know where the devil is. Now, think about this. The world moves just with one spirit. There's only one leader in America, and that's the president. He makes all the commands, and he leads the army. When you see an army go into battle, it's led by one head. When you read in the Bible or here, he says, it was ten horns. You say, oh, that's mysterious. Ain't nothing mysterious about that. I've told you that. That's just ten kings. 
When they say, oh, a beast rolls up out of the sky. That's just a leader. That's King James. Horns and beasts and all that stuff. It's just kings, leaders. You see, one person leads North Korea. One person leads Venezuela. One person leads America. And they all do that as well. Now you say, I'm a Mormon. I don't do like the Baptist. They ain't ten cents worth of difference between a Mormon and a Baptist. They all controlled by the Bible. You got to learn these things. See, you're so literal and, and so knowledgeable, you don't know where Satan's seat is. Where's Satan's seat at in your church? Now you see this man? He built a system. Satan's system. This is Caesar's system. They'll give you a little bit of money. You think you're doing good. You're a slave to Satan. You work all your life for money. This is Satan's system. He controls you with money. You're a slave all your life. I've seen people go to church all their life, be laying in the hospital crying, went to Baptist church or Pentecostal church or Catholic church. Now they're dying. They know they're going to hell. They're controlled by a book all their life. They're controlled by money all of their life. They're controlled by Satan's system. They never was controlled by the Holy Ghost. The only people on earth that Satan does not control is Holy Ghost people. That's all. Just Holy Ghost people. If you're controlled by this, you're not Holy Ghost. So this is our world in the first place. Caesar and them took it away from us. Satan took it away from us through Adam, and he controls it with money now, you see. But Jesus couldn't be controlled with money. When he left the earth, he only had his sandals and a robe. You couldn't control Jesus. Now let me tell you some little story that you don't understand. As a woman come through a crowd and touched Jesus, learn this mystery, learn this mystery. She came through a crowd and she touched his, his garment. And she was instantly healed. But you know what? Jesus didn't even know what had happened. He didn't know what happened. So you see, you don't understand spirits. Sometimes I say things and do things because God is in me. I'm the temple of God. I have God in me. He told me the Bible's an idol. It's the mark of the beast. When this woman touched Jesus, she, he said, somebody touched me. He said, I perceive virtue went out of me. What happened? Now, if you understand this, you'll understand the mystery of God. I'm teaching you a mystery of God. When she touched Jesus, God told her to. The creator of this world told that woman, if you'll touch my son, I'll heal you. She touched his son. She, and J Jesus said, what happened? What happened? She come and told him that what happened. And he said, your faith. See, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God told her, if you touch my son. Well, God was in Jesus, reconciling the world back to himself. See, God was manifested in the flesh. And people don't understand it. If you ever see God, you'll see him in me. You'll see him in his temple. We're the temples of God. So when she touched Jesus, God told her to, and she was healed, and Jesus said, my father done this. He said, your faith makes you whole. You obeyed God. You heard the word of God. You obeyed God. Now you're whole. See, the Bible's not the word of God. He won't tell you to touch somebody's robe. So don't be controlled by Caesar's system because if you do, you'll be laying up in that hospital like all them Baptists. That's why they got Baptist hospitals and Catholic hospitals and Methodist hospitals because that's where they all going to wind up, all you Bible worshipers. Now this... Right here, listen. Think how plain this is. While you're looking for God in a book, He's right here. He's in His temple. God lives in us. He walks in us. He talks in us. You'll never, never, never understand the mysteries of God if you don't put God where He's at. He's in His temple. Jesus was the temple of God. He was anointed to be the Son of God the everlasting king, and when he shed his blood, he was the Messiah. So Jesus shed his blood, and now I'm a son of God. He told me, you're a son of God. God speaks to me. And when I tell you, the Bible is the mark of the beast, you say, oh, brother, that's the word of God. See what y'all do? You put God in a book. Think about that. You put God in a book. You won't put God in me. You won't put God in his temple. But Satan does, and you'll obey him. You'll obey all these big leaders, and that's Satan in them. Learn the mystery of God. The mystery of God is Christ in you. If you're going to ever hear a word from God, you're hearing it right now. If you go through life without the Holy Ghost, the only person on earth that Satan cannot control is Holy Ghost people. He can get in anybody else, anybody else. He'll come and get in your wife. 
He'll get in your husband. He'll get in your children. He'll get in anybody he wants to because they belong to him. The only person he can't get in is when the Holy Ghost. When Satan comes and knocks on my door, he says, oh, I'm sorry, because the Holy Ghost is in there. See, he can't get in there with the Holy Ghost. It's the only way Satan can't control you. He'll possess you. All these people that's coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq got this post-traumatic syndrome stuff. That's demons. There's more of them dying of suicide over there than getting killed in battle because them demons is raising up. See, they fought Ishmael's children so long, Russia fought them for 15 years and tore down their nation. This nation's being tore down. See, when they run them planes in them to towers on 911, they call it, you think that we won the battle because we went over and wiped out the people in Afghanistan and in Iraq? No. Think about this. Russia went down. They fought in there 15 years against Ishmael's children. And then Bush, he sent uh, thousands and thousands of troops in there against them. Now, we're going down. We're $17 trillion in debt. And we're scared of being blowed up. We built homeland security and all kinds of stuff. Who won the battle? Ishmael's sons won the battle. Because the battle ain't won because you killed somebody. When you killed Jesus and put him on a cross, did you win the battle? No. Jesus won the battle. So don't look at things naturally. Don't be led by these satanic people. Know where Satan dwells. God don't dwell in a book. God dwells in me. God dwells in sons of God. I tell you the word of God. So wise up. Wise up. And listen. To what I'm telling you, God ain't in this. God is not in this. This is not God's word. God's word's right in here. I'm telling you God's word right now is... The Bible is an idol. It's the mark of the beast. That's God's word. This ain't God's word. God's word's a lie. God's word is quick. I'm telling you, you're going to hell by worshiping a book. You can't do that. God don't dwell in this book. See, Bible worshipers put God in a book. That's the word of God. And they worship in a book. Now that right there that I just tore up is the old covenant. And it's been abolished. That's why I abolish it. It's been abolished. It tells you that even in here. It's been abolished. Now, that says New Testament. Now, that's a dirty, rotten, low-down lie. Because Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, Jesus was not the king then. He was anointed to be the king. But he come and preached the old covenant and fulfilled it on the cross of Calvary. So, that's the old covenant. Now, this is all you got left from the, uh, from the book of Acts on. That's all you got left. Some letters. And all these men was law people. They wrote Romans, Galatians, and the book of Hebrews all about the law. You don't really need it. Read it. It's got some Holy Ghost people in it. You get rid of it. Get rid of the whole thing. And put God where He belongs. Right here. Where He can prophesy. Thank you, Father, for dwelling in your sons. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost that lives in us. Let us know where Satan's temple is and where he dwells so we can see and be able to make our way in the light. Gracias, Señor, por su luz que guiarnos en la vida.